I know you can't hear me. I mean, you know, spiritually, maybe you can. You know, happy birthday, Mom. You know, you were born September 10th, 1940, 1940. And I remember you said that you started walking December the 7th, 1941 on Pearl Harbor. Well, it was Pearl Harbor that you started walking. I miss you, Mom. You know, I've always loved you. And I mean, I love everybody in the family. You know, and I do love everybody in the family. It's just that every time I talk to Dad, you know, he'd rush me off the telephone. You know, he was either making something to eat or just some bullshit. You know, I'd, I'd always call the same time as I'd call you. You know, it's, it's just one of them things, Mom. Yeah, I know. I'm talking, just talking. But it's my feelings. You know, and I miss you, Mom. Paula misses you, too. You know, you were the coolest mom, though. And I did a comedy thing, you know, on YouTube for you. And I've been working a lot of hours. I've been working seven days a week. And uh, I miss you, Mom. You know, you were the coolest person. You were the, really the only person, I mean, other than Paula, that I could talk to. And I mean, you were my mom. You know, you were cool. You understood shit. You know, I, I don't have anybody yet anymore that understands what well, Paula does. But I mean, not a parent that understands. You know, I'm not rich, I'm not wealthy. You know, I mean, I don't, I just work for what I have, you know what I'm saying? And I know you're in the car. I know you've been looking over me, and I know you have. And, you know, I always love you, Mom. You know, no matter what. You know, you were the coolest, funniest person that I ever knew. You know, as a mom, I see where I get my, my personality and character from. And it was you, of course. It was definitely you that I had got my personality from. And character and kindness. You know, it was all from you, Mom. You know, you, you left that on to me. To be the person that I am. And like the saying that you said, it's not, you know, what you have in this life. It's the person that is inside of you that makes you who you are. And you said it right, though. You know, you got to deal with a bunch of dickheads in this life. You know, bosses. You know, I mean, I've only had probably a handful of cool bosses. Tommy Johnson's the coolest boss I have. And, uh, and, you know, I and I told you about, you know, him way before you died. I mean, this this was when I first started at Metro, you know, and I told you about him. And I said, he is the nicest guy and he's the fairest person. But then you have guys that try to make a name for themselves. And they're not making a name for themselves. They're making themselves you know, a marked person to be fired, you know, and it's true, I know I'm rattling and talking, but this is what I did for a long time, Mom, and I talked, I thought, you know, that you were still sitting over here in the car, this is the car, this was the last place before you went into hospice, you know, and it sucks. And you had to go in there. You know, and you passed away. And you didn't know that you died. You knew you were dying. You know, I I, I kept having hope and faith that you were going to live. I mean, like when I did that talk, you know, when, when you were dying last year. 
you know, and I sat there and I held your hand and I was talking to you. And then I'll never forget what you said. You said, shut the hell up. You talk too damn much. I just want to go to sleep. And it was, it was a, a dark hour for you. You know, they didn't think you were going to make it. And you were going downhill. And just the words, I guess, that I spoke. I'm not saying that I'm the one that did it. But I have a feeling that that's what it was. You know, that I, that I you know, just, that I talked to you. You know, and you got better. You know, but anyway, Mom, you know, I love you, though. You know, and happy birthday, Mom. You know, it's just one of them things. I've never been close to Dad whatsoever. You were the only parent I was close to. Because you were cool and you Same understood. The gift that families across America have loved for over 100 years, Omaha State.